Well, it's not actually it's the Royal Charter. I don't get it. What? What's the point of this stuff? I don't get it. What sort of spiel do you want, Jack? Um, today we are presenting over, over here. You ready? And when we come to these events, I get to speak to large groups of people that get to know best practice. And hopefully in the 30 minutes that I've got allocated, I can inspire one or a number of those organisations to be more focused on their growth, more focused on their goals, and more efficiently managing their resources. So in this instance, um, you know, this is me giving back to the community. Um, in this instance, these are all charities, so I'm happy to come and talk to them um, and happy to come to speak to a group of people um, with the limited time I've got available to, to help them in an efficient and effective way. See you best practice. <laughs> okay, yep. Today, uh, today we're with the National Organisation of Charitable Recycling Organisations. It's the national, sorry, the National Association of Charitable Recycling Organisations. So they are um, organisations like op shops. So they're taking um, you know surplus things that are still good that people don't have a need for anymore in in their houses, and then redistribution. So like redistribution centres, if you like. Uh, today we're talking to them about ISO fourteen thousand and one. So. What's really interesting about that industry is they're already doing good things, uh, so they're not using or interested in ISO 14001 from a compliance perspective, but more from an opportunities perspective. So I'm gonna give them a bit of a spiel on best practice and why we exist and what our vision and mission and passion is all about. So creating fun, profitable, efficient, growth focused, safe and sustainable companies. And that's what we're all about here at Best Practice. And um, we'll get up and, and answer their questions. So that's what we're here to do. Yeah, look, um, it is. That's a really great question. Why, you know, why are charities? You know, why, why is it important for them to be efficient, and why is it important for them to, um, you know, to be more effective and maybe more growth focused? Well, the charity game is a tough. It's a tough industry. So, you know, it's the not-for-profit sector. Um, surplus cash is not something that's just lying around, and they operate in a space where they rely heavily on grants and donations and and gifts and gratuities. And so, it is even more important for those organisations to be more focused than a private sector company on business plan, objectives, growth, tracking performance, statistics, those types of things. So I'd argue that um, for them, because they're very, very lean organisations, um, you know, typically they need to be looking at those things more closely and more focused on them, more focused on incremental small pieces of growth um, and particularly really clear, concise objective setting. Uh, so they can make the best use of the limited resources that they've got to operate. You know, and innovation is, I've had to innovate my business um, because of the challenges of our industry and, and like it or not, you guys are in retail. And so I, I think it's important, what I've done in my business is look at other businesses and look at other industries to see how I can innovate and particularly from a social media perspective. And so while you know, while it is difficult to engage, um, you know, with the retail industry to look at some of those innovations and, and what the future, what you guys are doing is looking like, is to have a look at those challenges that just the classic retailer in Pitt Street's got and what are those ideas and those innovations that they're looking at just to get engagement. Um, and so those are the sorts of things to be considering. It's just that small last piece of advice because I won't get the opportunity to talk to everybody, but how are your favorite brands in any industry interacting and can you steal their ideas because it's not going to steal right you bring going to bring it across to what you're doing um, but have a think about those sorts of things so there is all the engagement of community but how can you do that at scale is, is something to really consider and tell those all those different amazing stories thank you You hungry? I'm always hungry, Jack. All right, let's go get some. I just want to give you another opportunity to shoot video of me eating food. Quality ingredients, though. Quality ingredients. Quality ingredients. I'm going to have a shoot. All right, do you want to see, Jack? No, I'm all good, thanks, mate. Sure? Yeah. So that was classified as a meeting. It's like Meetings only, Fabio. That's a great question. So why is ISO 14001 important for, the, for this part of the charity sector? So these are charitable recycling organisations 
um, that we're here to talk to today, uh, ISO 14001 is a really good opportunity for them to promote um, their piece, you know, in terms of their piece of difference. Um, that, you know, a big part of, you know, somebody giving a donation is, is their desire to see that 100% of what they're donating goes out to the marketplace. Now, we know these organisations need to operate and you need to, in some instances, there's only so many volunteers that you can consume uh, to help you run these organisations, but you still do need to have professionals, uh, paid professionals, uh, who are very good at what they do running these organisations. And so uh, ISO 14001 is a good marketing opportunity uh, for these organisations and also a good way to have their focus, a condensed focus on their environmental outcomes um, so that they are really you know, analysing and making an intelligent decision about the direction that they're going to go. Um, coming to these styles of events are uh, a great opportunity to influence at scale more organisations. Best practice exists to create growth focused, profitable, efficient, fun, sustainable and safe organisations. That's what we're all about. Did you hear about that new restaurant on the moon? Food was amazing, no atmosphere. Oh. <laughs> Thanks Jack. <laughs>